Hello friends, welcome to KBM Computers Patashala. This is Bharti at Department of MCA. Today we have to learn about deterministic finite automata, which is a concept related to way of computation. First, let us see what is deterministic finite automata. A deterministic finite automata can be represented as a finite automation, that is a machine can be represented in five tuples. That is Q, Sigma, Delta, Q naught, F. Where Q is equal to finite set of states, Sigma be the finite input alphabet, Q naught be the starting state, which is the set belongs to Q and F be the final state which is also called it as an acceptance state. A final state may be a single or may be more but the initial state must be only one. The final state is also a subset of Q and the delta which is nothing but a transition function which can be defined as Q with a Cartesian product of sigma to q, which means suppose the finite set of states that represents q contains two different states, for example, q0, q1, and the input alphabet that means you are giving an input to the system that is a and b, then product these two sets, apply Cartesian product. That means Q0 upon A, Q1 upon A, Q0 upon B and Q1 upon B. Again the result which be the state in a Q. So which can be written like this. Q with a Cartesian product of sigma and the output belongs to Q. So which can be represented as Q delta is defined for any Q in Q and s in sigma and delta of q comma s that means this q is a state which belongs to q and s is an input alphabet which belongs to sigma then you enter q dash which is equal to some state and this q dash is also belongs to q sometimes you are entered into the same state that means Sometimes the Q dash may be equal to Q. See the applications of deterministic finite automata, which is used to find the occurrences of short sequences in a long length string, that is, finding the pattern match. That is nothing but you can identify uh, Google search engines and also state chart model tasks and lexical analyzer in compiler design. So, in lexical analyzer, you are dividing total program into small individual parts that can be achieved by using this DFU. So, here you can see the deterministic finite automata can be represented by using a transition diagram or a transition table. In a transition diagram, you have three different symbols. One is circle which is represented as state. And double circle represents which is an acceptance state. An arc is used to represent the input transition. Here you can see the example of a deterministic finest automata. So in a finite automata, you can have three, uh, sorry, two different states. One is Q0, the second one is Q1. This arc means if you are in Q0 state and you have an input symbol 0, then you are entering into a state Q1. And Q1, this is nothing but a self loop. That means you are in state Q1 and you are reading an input symbol 1 and you have to enter into the same state. So this means sometimes the starting state may be the final state. So which is an example for accepting even number of zeros. For example, Design a string which accepts 
set of all strings contains a prefix ab that means you check whether the machine is accepted set of all strings which contains starting characters are ab so in this you can say the bfa can be represented as q sigma delta q not f and these can be filled by designing the transition diagram so if you can this draw the diagram like this so you have to prefix ab that means q not upon a and q1 upon b so only ab is nothing but acceptance of a string once you are accepting ab that means after ab you are accepting any number of a's and b's then you are in the acceptance state only you can check whether your transition is a followed by a b or not suppose if you are starting state symbol is b then you are redirected into another state which is nothing but q3 once you are starting with a symbol b that means you are not accepted the string so that once you are enter into a not acceptance state which means whatever the symbols you read after b that means a not acceptance and once you are accepting a well if you are accepting a symbol b then only you can move forward otherwise if you are accepting a again there is a redirection to not acceptance state here also a a followed by many number of a's and b's is nothing but not acceptance only the acceptance thing is a followed by b and many number of a's and b's isn't it next this can be converted into a transition table so transition table contains rows and columns in rows you are representing states q0 q1 q2 q3 and q0 upon a what is the state q1 q0 b what is the state q3 so here also you can check q0 upon a q1 isn't it in the similar manner q0 upon b q3 well similarly you can fill all these transition tables after designing this how many states we got q0 q1 q2 q3 the same thing you can written here q0 q1 q2 q3 what are the input symbols you have a b so the input symbols are a b what is the initial state q0 what is the final state the final state can be represented by using double circle so final state is q2 now you can check whether the machine is accepted or not accepted the acceptance is nothing but you can start with ab not acceptance is nothing but other than ab that means a a b a b b so after the any number of a's and b's user wish suppose if your string is accepted by a b after that many number of a's and b's you are in an acceptance state so how you can check so a b a a so delta of q comma w q is nothing but you can write starting state that is q no what is w that is your input word what is the input word a b a a so q not upon a you are enter into your state q1 check it once q not upon a you are enter into q1 the same thing you can write here q1 upon b what is the state q2 yes q2 upon a once if you enter into the state acceptance many number of s and many number of b's you are in the same state the same thing you can write here q2 upon a q2 q2 upon a q2 so which is nothing but a final state once you are enter into final state then you can say the string is accepted 
coming to not acceptance of a string. So let your word is a a a a b. Similarly, q not a a something. Q not upon a. You can check it once. Q not upon a. You are entering into q one. Q one upon a. If q one upon b, you are moving this side. But you are moving q one upon a this side. That means not acceptance. Once not acceptance, many number of s and b is also not acceptance. So q one upon a q two. Once if you enter into not acceptance state q three. Many number of A's and B's, you are in the same state. So, which is nothing but not a final state. Finally, the string is not accepted. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.